In this video, I will talk about how to run matrix operation in MATLAB for absolute beginners. This includes how to add, subtract, multiply matrices. We can also talk about how to calculate inverse matrix and element-wise operation and transpose matrix. I'll start talking about matrix addition, subtraction, scalar matrix multiplication, element-wise matrix operation, followed by transpose matrix. You can find the timestamp next to each topic, and please feel free to skip around to find what you need. Consider the same size of matrix A and B. If you want to add matrices A and B, you can use plus sign between A and B in MATLAB. Similarly, you can use minus sign between A and B if you want to subtract matrix B from A. Remember, the size of matrices A and B must be the same to add or subtract. Otherwise, it will give you an error message. The resulting matrix size is the same size of matrix A or B. Consider given two matrices A and B. I'll show you how to add two matrices and save the result in the new matrix C. First, you need to create matrix A and B. Then you can type C equals sign followed by A plus B. The resulting matrix C is shown below. The elements in the matrix C are element-wise addition between matrices A and B. What if you want to subtract matrix B from matrix A? Since we already created matrices A and B before, we can simply type C equals sign followed by A minus B. The resulting matrix C is shown below. The elements in the matrix C are element-wise subtraction between matrices A and B. What if you want to add two matrices A and B having different size? For example, 2x2 two two matrix plus 3x3 three three matrix. So I have matrix 1, 2, 3, and 4. B equals 0, 1, minus 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. When you create two matrices, C equals A plus B, you can see the error message saying that the matrix size does not match for matrix addition. Consider a given 2 by 2 matrix A. For scalar multiplication, consider scalar quantity lambda and matrix A. The scalar multiplication is element-wise multiplication of scalar quantity lambda. You can simply use lambda star sign and matrix A. Consider given 2 by 2 matrix A. 2 by A means that it needs to double all the elements in matrix A using scalar multiplication. So we can start creating matrix A, 1, 5, 2, and 7. Then to calculate 2A, you can use C equals sign 2 star sign followed by A. You can see the doubled elements in the matrix A. For matrix multiplication, consider matrices A and B. Similarly, you can use star sign between two matrices. However, in order to multiply two matrices, the column size of matrix A must be the same as the row size of matrix B. Otherwise, it will give you an error message. Let me elaborate how to check the matrix multiplication conformity. Consider M by M matrix A, and P by Q matrix B. To check the conformity, you can lay out four numbers for matrices A and B in series. In this case, we have N, M, P, and Q. If the matrices A and B are conformable, M must be the same as P. The size of resulting matrix is M by Q. Consider two matrices A and B. What is the matrix multiplication of A, B? To calculate the matrix multiplication, we need to create matrices A and B. Then multiply them by using star sign. You can see the resulting matrix below. The question comes, what about B times A? Also, is a BA the same as AB? Let's find out. BA can be calculated using B times A. The result is different from the one for A times B as expected, so the answer is no. 
What if you have 2x2 matrix A and 2x3 matrix B and want to calculate matrix multiplication? First of all, is it possible to calculate? The answer is yes. The column size of matrix A is 2 and which is the same as the row size of matrix B. In MATLAB, we create matrix B and calculate the matrix multiplication as C equals to A star B. What about given matrices A and B? Since the column size of A is different from the row size of B, you cannot multiply. Let's see what happens in command window. As expected, it ends up with error saying inner matrix dimension must agree. Consider we have 2 by 2 matrix A. To calculate the inverse matrix of A, we can use built-in function IMB followed by the matrix name. You can create the given matrix A and then you can simply type inverse of A. To confirm this is true inverse of A, you can multiply by A to have identity matrix. Consider 1 by 3 row vector A and we would like to scare all the elements to create 1 by 3 row vector C. To do this, you may quickly come up with a C equals sign A square. However, it shows an error message since the inner matrix dimension does not match. Column size of the first matrix A is a 3 and the row size of the second matrix A is 1, which is different. Same thing happens when you use A times A. What you wanted is to do element-wise square in all elements of A. For the element-wise operation, you can use period before your operator. You can use period for division and exponentiation as well. So you can use A period caret 2 to achieve what you need. Also, you can use period for the star sign. We have two row vectors A and B and would like to create a row vector C by having element by element division. First of all, the first element 1 half comes from 1 divided by 2 and the second element minus 1 comes from minus 1 divided by 1 and third one is related to 2 divided by minus 1. So in MATLAB window, I can create row vector A, 1, minus 1, and 2, row vector B, 2, 1, minus 1. Again, you can use period for element by element division. Consider a row vector A. If you want to transpose vector A by swapping row and column indices, you can use a single quotation mark at the end. You can first create a vector A, then you can transpose it by using single quotation mark at the end. And you can see vertical and column vector out of row vector. Thanks for watching this video until the end, and please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch tutorial videos in science, technology, engineering, and math. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.